Ah, all right. Let's talk. I got this video idea from Pablo Valdez comment of from one of the videos I created two days ago. Thank you, Pablo, for the suggestion. I highly appreciate it. In this video, let's discuss how hard it was to land my first job and how hard or easy it may be to get your first job or your client. For the first time, it's not only based on my experience, but also from the experiences of my friends who are also software developers. Second would be, what are the techniques I've employed in order to get my first client? Spoiler alert, in one of the methods, you may need to be social. Lastly, some of my thoughts to the questions mentioned, questions like, I've been studying X language in X amount of time, am I good enough to get the job? Or I just finished my bachelor's degree in CS, is my CS degree good enough to land me a job? And questions around that particular area. So let's get to it. I'm not going to lie, I got my job pretty easily, even without prior experience. And I owe it all to luck. It all started because of my professor who saw me coding at one of the buildings where he was teaching. This was during my college days. And he mentioned he needed a website for his review center on which I accepted the offer because I'm a student, even though the offer was very little pay, any income is appreciated. So I created the website with some of the features that he wants me to do, like being able to his viewers and clients download his teaching materials because he was also teaching on the side and all sorts of features that he wanted. I thought that was the end of it when I finished. Six months later, when I was working as a clerk, he called me up and asked me if I'm available, if I was available. Little did I know, he was already setting me up to see one of his buddies that works for a big firm in the US and is looking to outsource one developer in the Philippines. And that's me. <laughs> and that's how I got my first job. They offered me really good pay for someone without industry experience. That's just one example on how powerful networking is and satisfying a client will bring more clients your way. I also ask other developers on how they managed to land their first job. In this mini survey I conducted, the majority said that it was tough and they had to accept smaller paying jobs to gain experience, apply to several companies as well after doing those small jobs, get rejected around two to three times until they finally land a company that would take them in and offer them better pay. A pay that fits a software engineer. For, for smaller paying jobs, you can find them in Upwork or on Fiverr, some on Reddit, depends on where you look. It's all over the place, but it's a good way to build your skills, your experience, and your CV or resume. The way I see it, if you're still starting out, you may need to do low paying jobs that the majority of devs may see as not worthy of their time. This is a good way to build skills, a portfolio, and earn experience. Try to network, find some buddies who may need websites. There may be a lot of shops in your area, you may want to contact them and offer them a free website and the only thing they need to pay for is the domain name and maintenance costs for hosting and such. That's a good strategy. Or you can also go to the freelance websites I've mentioned, Fiverr and Upwork, and build your skills there. The cons for Fiverr and Upwork is that there's a lot of competition in there and some may outbid you. Like if you could say, okay, I'll do your website for 50, some may say they could do it for 30 or half the cost. That's just the, that's just the cons that I see there. Now that you have a bit of a portfolio and your GitHub has some content, second would be to market yourself. Who says being a software engineer is only about coding? To be successful in this field where competition is high, you're gonna want to stand out. Job recruiters nowadays are like stalkers. 
once they lock you inside, they'll go to the ends of the earth to make contact. Be it LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. If they can even show up in front of your house, they would. And, you know, maybe by the bushes and sneak attack. <laughs> Sometimes you sneak attacking so good, you not even know you sneak attacking. But first, how do you get a recruiter's attention? Their natural habitat is LinkedIn. Let's start there. Before you go out there and frantically connect with recruiters, first you must build your own LinkedIn profile. Try adding developers on your account and then consistently post related topics to software engineering. Like this one. This one's good programming tips and about mental health in the workplace and such ask your friends and the people you work with to endorse you uh, there's an endorse part of LinkedIn where you where people can endorse others utilize that it's a powerful tool it's one way of saying that hey this guy is saying that I'm good at my job once your profile is good and ready to go, search for technical recruiters on LinkedIn and find people who work as technical recruiters and just add a bunch of them. They are the ones that usually post job openings. That's where you'll find a bunch of jobs to apply for. In this final chapter, In this final chapter, let's talk about self-doubt. I get it. Even now that I'm five years into this field in software engineering, I still have it. It's good to have a bit of doubt, but the courage to move forward and tackle what's in front of you should overcome that doubt. If you've been, if you've been coding and created projects, that's good enough. That's good proof that you are able to do this job. Software engineering is best learned by doing and the best way of doing is by actually learning on the job. Nobody expects you to know everything at first. You must learn in in every job that you go through. Learning on the job is is the norm. So learn on the job. That's the best way of learning how to code. Not only are you being paid to learn, but you are also being paid to pursue this beautiful field of software engineering. Here's what I can say about that question. Hey, I've been coding for X amount of time. Do you think I'm ready? Why are you asking me? If you believe that you are ready, then you are correct. If you don't believe that you are ready, then you're correct either way. So I'll leave you with that. Good luck in your journey. When you get there, I'll save you a seat. Hey, future Irwin here. So I just want to make a summary of everything that we've talked about. So firstly is that how hard and easy getting a job in software engineering depends a lot in luck as well and your skills to market yourself through LinkedIn and different social media platforms or when you market yourself as a software engineer to your local, to local businesses. And third is about handling self-doubt and I have a image here that I've made for you to follow through uh, about self-doubt and if you guys want to know more and you have you guys have more questions to ask me just ask away uh, I'll try to make a video out of it and hopefully it helps you out so I wish you all the best in your programming journey and becoming a software engineer. And when you get there, I'll save me a seat or I'll save you a seat. Depends. So yeah, thank you. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe.